So here we are in Google Maps ready to take a tour of this area in what we would call modern day France, what the Romans would call Gaul, that area that eventually became that Roman province. And the city we're talking about is Elysia, which is now known as the modern day Elysée Saint Rennes. And you can see here is Italy south, and of course here is Roma. And then if we move up on the map of Italia, we can get to Gaul, and then we can go right up to Elysia, that historical area where the siege happened, which is considered one of Caesar's greatest military achievements and is still considered a classic example of siege warfare. So because we're inside Google Maps, we know we can always go take the little Google man and he'll bring us on a nice little virtual tour so we can plop him right there onto the uh, Autostrada of the Côte d'Or, a province of France. So we're getting pretty close to our city of Elysia. Now one thing I'm noticing right away, which was inside our video of ancients behaving badly, we can see a very flat area of land in some mountainous areas in the horizon, which is really setting up a perfect um, storm, a combination of an area which would be a good place for a fortress because you are sitting on top of your hill point so you can see who's coming towards you in the horizon. You are protected, you are isolated, but yet in the same token because you are isolated, because you are um, you have been um, moved out of a large spacious area into a small contained area, you Unfortunately for the Gauls, uh, it was almost like the Romans were the cats outside of the mouse hole with the mice being trapped inside. So as I move my little Google man, I'm getting closer to Alicia. still impressed by all this beautiful, luscious greenery of the province. And now I am zooming in to that ancient fortress called Elysia. And it seems to me that this um, map would have us taking a bird's eye view down. Seems to me that green would be that countryside that we just saw, and this uh, cream area would be that mountainous hill. And by clicking on that little map inside the Google Maps, I am able to take myself right to the website Panoramio, where somebody has done us a big favor and taken a picture of the monument that now sits on that, that hill, that siege area, and there's our Vercingetorix, the commander-in-chief of the Gauls. And then I'm also able to move over here and I can see all that green area, all of how we've got um, probably flat plains and right here is that um, citadel, which is the, the term for that hill point where that siege was. I like this picture because I can see in perspective of a, a person who was taking a visit and and um, did us a nice favor by publishing these pictures as public domain. Here's another picture. So I can really imagine here I can see myself on top of this mountain peak because I can see in the horizon some of that valley area next to some more mountainous peaks. And then I can also move myself onwards to a drawing of that siege area where I can really see how the Gauls, you know, this the span of that area that they 
they felt that they were protecting themselves with. And then the Romans' gigantic, basically, city around the fortress that they created, these two levels of walls, reminds me a lot of the Great Wall of China that they um, basically captured in those Gallic tribes and, as we learned, their families, uh, their helpless elderly people, uh, non-combative women and children.